supervisor gun off. Again, one of your missions ends in failure. I... I couldn't help it. The, the, the Robocop intervened. You attacked his home base. The laboratory where he was built. Of course he was there to defend it. Oh, believe me, sir. You would have been proud. We fought valiantly for the greater glory of Targ. Hmm. Is that so? Then explain this transmission we received from one of our assault vehicles at the scene of battle. Why are you waiting? Attack! That's what I like about you, low lowlifes. You always stick together. Blaster! Look at my lab! It's a mess! Relax, Newmeyer. I'm sure Division Alpha will pay for the repairs. So, Doc, what do you think those clowns were after? Well, I'm guessing they figured out I was ready to test my Revmacom. Your Revma... What? Reversible matter compressor. Basically, a shrinking ray. Oh. Don't worry, those dark agents never got near it. <laughs> I wasn't groaning about your gizmo, Newmeyer. I got a tooth that feels like it's gonna jump out of my head. I'd pay to see that. Oh, man. I never thought I'd say this, but I can't wait to go to the dentist tomorrow. Uh -oh. Please, if I could have one more chance. Sorry, Donald. We're fresh out. Oh, let's not be too hasty, sir. Supervisor Gonoff may still prove useful in his own elfish way. Hmm. Who are you? I am Dr. Rotter, Director of Research and Development for Dark, and your only hope of getting out of this room alive. A pleasure to meet you. I grow impatient, Doctor. As I see it, we have two problems. One is that, thanks to Dr. Newmeyer, Division Alpha is ahead of Dark in its race to perfect miniaturizing technology. We, on the other hand, would use such technology in more inventive ways. Say, to create an army small enough to fit inside a diplomatic pouch. Yes. Or to inject a tiny assassin into every world leader and execute them from within. Ah, without a trace, think of the potential for chaos. Yes, a splendid, a splendid. <laughs> <clears throat> The trouble is, as long as Robocop guards Newmeyer's invention, you'll never be able to steal it. Ipso facto, Robocop must be destroyed. That's what I was trying to do. Yes. Only the mistake you made was trying to destroy Robocop first, then trying to steal the machine. Why not do both at the same time? How? With this. I... I don't see a thing. Naturally. Although Dark does not yet have a way to shrink matter, we are quite good at building weapons on a very, very small scale. I promise, by this time tomorrow, Robocop will be demolished, and Dark will have the Shrinking Ray. <laughs> Hello, Sergeant Reed. I'm Dr. Pleasant. Where's Dr. Swanson? Dr. Swanson is tied up in surgery. But never mind him. These x-rays show that you have an infection in your right lateral incisor. I'll need to do a root canal. Okay, just stop it from hurting. I promise. You'll never have to worry about that tooth again. By the way, is there anyone we can call to pick you up? A friend? Perhaps a co-worker? Sure. Call the precinct. Ask Murphy. Numbers in my file. Good. Because once I'm done, you really won't feel like yourself. How do you feel, Sarge? Like someone tried to drive a prison bus down my throat? Thanks, Doc. Tell Swanson I'm sorry I risked him. Reed 
is out of it. Of course, I don't blame him. I hate having surgery. All those tubes and metal things sticking out of your body. No offense. None taken. Hey, let go! Sarge, what are you doing? Can't control body. Can't stop. Why didn't you take him to a hospital? There wasn't time. His vital signs were failing. Besides, you once brought me back from the brink. I figured you could do the same for him. Yeah, only this time I'm not sure I know how. Why do you say that? See that spike? It indicates that something has taken over Reed's nervous system. That's why he went wacko on you in the car. He couldn't help it. What is it, an infection, a tumor, a reaction to the root canal? It's something artificial, some kind of foreign object. I can't figure out how it got in there. But if I don't get it out within the next hour, we'll lose him. So what are you waiting for? We're talking about a microscopic device clamped onto a spinal cord. Conventional surgery won't work. Wait a minute. Newmeyer, was the matter compressor damaged when Dark attacked the lab? No, but... Whoa. I know what you're thinking, and it's way too dangerous. No, 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 no. What are you talking about? Murphy wants me to zap him with the shrinking ray and put him inside Reed so he can perform the surgery. You've seen way too many old movies. Cornelius, Reed is my oldest friend. I owe him this. Uh, yeah, theoretically. But even if you got inside Reed safely, then you'd have to navigate impossibly tight spaces and, and perform incredibly complex surgery. One person just can't do it all. Then I'm going to. Ah, now I see. You're both nuts. Launch the surveillance drone. Wait until Robocop is out of the way, and my men have stolen the matter compressor. Fine. <laughs> Sit back and watch, Gonoff. That is what you do best. Once you're miniaturized, I'll inject you into Reed's body. You'll flow with the spinal fluid, following the dorsal column to this area below the brain, where that doodad planted itself. How are we supposed to get there? Swim? Let me guess. You just happen to have a submarine lying around? Well, I was actually building this for kind of a side project. A deep sea theme park. Oh, nice to see my tax dollars at work. I'll be in constant radio contact, guiding you through Reed's body, assuming everything goes well. And what if things don't go well? Well, then I've equipped the submersible with the subatomizer. <laughs> Which is? Kind of a self-destruct device. The craft will implode, shrinking to such infinitesimal proportions that'll virtually disappear, and so no longer be a threat to Reed. <laughs> Fine, as long as we're not in it. Yeah! <laughs> Only don't leave the ship if you can help it. That'll be much safer for you and for Reed. Okay, let's get small. Hatch is secure. All systems are nominal. Initiating miniaturization sequence.
pneumatic injector picking you up. Initiating transdermal insertion. They're in. They're in. <laughs> now we can steal the matter compressor. Be patient, Gonoff. We must not show ourselves until we are sure that Robocop has been annihilated. To that end, I will now activate the Neural Stimulator. So, what's it like in there? Looks pretty calm. Great. Actually, it's just as well that Reed isn't awake. If he were, that column would be thick with electromagnetic waves. What are you saying, Newmeyer? Well, <clears throat> If his nervous system were active, you'd be blown around like a ping-pong ball in a typhoon. Gee, that sets my mind at ease. You should be seeing the dorsal root fibers any time now. If you mean those big purple things, we'll be there in no time. What is it? What's going on? Can't stabilize the ship. We're being buffeted by brain waves. I need answers, Newmeyer. Activate the hydraulic grapplers. You can use them to climb the funiculus and avoid those impulses. Climb the what? Sorry, it's that big white tree truck thingy in front of you. Oh, why didn't you say so? Now what? There's an energy field dead ahead. That's it, at the base of the cerebellum. Looks like it's a neural controller blocking Reed's lateral corticospinal tract. The nanotechnology's pretty crude, definitely the work of Dark. But why would Dark go to all this trouble to get at Sergeant Reed? No, no, Sergeant Reed was merely the bait, and now the trap is sprung. Arm the weapons. Remember, get as close as you can before trying to remove the device. Speaking of close, incoming! I'm gonna reroute ship's power to the surgical laser and toast that thing. Wait! If you miss even by a micron, it'll kill Reed! Why didn't I see it before? This whole thing was a setup. Oh, right! They planted that bug on Reed's spine, figuring we'd get Shrug to go in after it. We have to warn Newmeyer. Newmeyer, come in. Do you copy? Why can't we get through? That's why. Those attack pods must have cut off our comm system. I think that this would be a good time for one of your brilliant plans. Okay. We'll swim for it. That's your plan? The best I can do. You coming? Once I trigger the subatomizer, we'll have 10 seconds to get out before the ship self-destructs. That long, huh? 10 seconds to implosion. 9, 8, 7. Show, citizens. Ah! Hang on, Nancy. Uh, I'm my art we crappy. Behind you. <clears throat> oh, look, I got a birthday present. What do you say we open it up? your way to get my hair curls. Hey, look! It let go of the spine! Here, hook it up and let's go. Have you noticed that this thing seems a lot smaller up close? It's not smaller. 
we're bigger. That short circuit from the neural controller must have destabilized the matter compression effect. If we don't get out of Reed's body fast, we'll split Reed in two. Talk about growing pains. Which way back to the base of the spine? Too far to swim. Head for the head. They're gone. It's all my fault. I should have never let them try it. Poor Miner. Poor Murphy. That's his homing signal. And it's intensifying. They're, they're getting bigger. Mm, you hear that, Doctor? Your little toy booby trap didn't stop Robocop. What's he doing? Where's he going? Where are you going? To steal the shrinking ray before Robocop escapes from Reed's body. You can wait here and explain to our glorious leader what happened. He'll be calling any second now. What is this stuff? You don't want to know. Yes, I do. Where are we? In Reed's maxillary sinus cavity. And frankly, I think he could use a good antihistamine. We're in his nose. Oh, yeah! What was that? It's Reed. Snoring. He must be coming around. Murphy! Camel bar! Nose hairs! Nose hairs. Gesundheit. Whoa! The signal's gone! They must have got out of your body! <laughs> Whatever you do, don't move! Don't bother to get up, Doctor. We just came for the matter compressor. <laughs> What... what happened? It's Robocop, of course. He must have escaped from Reed's body. Blast the floor! Now, now, keep your chin up. The matter compressor. Welcome to Itsy Bitsy Airlines. Please fasten your safety belts and put your seat backs in a full and upright position. Ah, oh, some people just won't follow instructions. Very amusing, my petite Miss Miner, but your flight has just been cancelled. <laughs> to see you, Sergeant. You can relax. Everything's back to normal. Normal? <laughs> Say, what, what's my dentist doing here? Hey, where'd you... Didn't I see... We'll explain everything. Though it gets pretty complicated. Look, forget all that for now. I want to talk to that lousy dentist. This tooth is still killing me. Move, citizen. We'll be right back. 
And now, back to the show. Next, your favorite trio of inseparable siblings is coming at you with more zany adventures. It's right, Yakko, Wacko, and their adorable sister, Dot, are ready to wreak loads of havoc on Kids WB. Don't move a muscle. Steven Spielberg presents Animaniacs next. <laughs> 